Spokane County deputies responded to a call from a home here on North Kalispell Street. The sheriff's office says a man reported that his neighbor armed with a baton tried to assault him and threatened to kill him. And this isn't the first time officers have been called to that home. Sheriff John Knoll says deputies came out several times to the home Monday night when that same neighbor called and said the suspect broke something on his property. Officers did have enough to charge the suspect with a misdemeanor, but he was uncooperative. The sheriff's office said due to the low risk to the public, deputies decided to leave the home and submit a charging request with the prosecutor's office. Yesterday, they were called back at around 4 o'clock for a similar incident. When deputies arrived again, the suspect was not cooperating. Officers say he would not follow commands to surrender despite several attempts to de-escalate the situation, numerous PA announcements, phone calls with the crisis negotiator, and a search warrant for the home. Now, after several hours, deputies made a plan to break through the door. The sheriff's office says almost immediately that man acted aggressively towards deputies. At uh, 6.54 hours, they advised that they had breached the front door. And at 6.55 hours, they advised that the suspect had aggressed on them and shots were fired. During this uh, interaction between the suspect and the deputies on scene, one of our canines was injured and a deputy was also uh, also received minor injuries. The man was pronounced dead at the scene. The deputy wasn't seriously hurt, but the injured canine did require medical treatment by a veterinarian. A neighbor told 4 News Now he heard the whole thing. Take a listen. We had seen the cops' car, the cars pulled up, and we weren't sure what was going on, so we were just sitting in the house. And uh, next thing we know, um, while we're in this house, we hear about uh, seven shots or so. And uh, that's when I went outside and uh, tried to see what was going on. From here, the Spokane Independent Investigative Response Team will take over this investigation. The sheriff's office says the name of the man who was killed will be released at a later time. Reporting in studio, Sydney Charles. Four News Now.